did. Of which uh, Syrup ended up winning that one uh, in pretty pretty handled fashion. Yeah, you yeah. could say yeah. super dominant. He yeah. Got yeah. Eric got messed up. <laughs> he did. He looked good, though, during certain times. Yes. It was just a very long set, very long day. Like, Syrup ended up yeah. Things. Like, if you TikTok it, you, you could cut out the good parts. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> it just needs to be heavily edited content. Like, we can't can't afford to have this. Uh, you could definitely make a mystery propaganda piece out of it, is what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't watch it without the context. Yeah. But still basically dead even here. Not a lot of resources for Serb, which was kind of the name of the game the last time they played, too. Like, mystery is really good about playing that war of attrition and trying to grind down the bar. Yeah, and I think that's what you need to do against Steve. You need to be able to whittle his resources the best way possible. Yes. Ooh, oh, what a tech oh, from Sierra. Oh, oh. Half the time, it really does feel like he wants to play like a much longer, like controlled style game. And while that's really good at diminishing your uh, your item bar and like, your resources, it doesn't truly hold a candle to Steve players that are willing to be explosive. Uh, and I mean, being able just to set up a wall is sometimes enough to get your chance to get open and to find some hits. And the back is going to do it? No, not quite. But it is certainly dangerous. I love that reversal from Mr. E's completely skipping by the ledge because he knows it's a death trap. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, interesting little setup there. Trying to put some pressure on. Trying to find some resources here and finding just very small moments, but pretty important ones. Mr. E with a big opportunity here. I love that the drop zone forward air takes that stock. And Lovely. it's even crazier that the minecart still hit him. So <laughs> if he somehow like missed or it armored through, it was over. Yeah, yeah. There was some world where that exact exchange happened, and Mystery still lost. Yeah. In other news, got uh, it looks like LRA taking it down over on setup 21. Yeah. So really interesting on. matchups across all of the setups. We have a, a number of banjos that have been gracing the stream setup. We have a number of Steves as well. Um, I've been loving watching Sean play Olimar in various funny matchups. Wolf not necessarily being a funny one, kind of just a, a bad one, but yeah, and yeah also, that, that one's just tough. yeah, yeah. <laughs> plenty of ditties as well. So shout out to EJJ and Marvel down there. But I want to see some more mystery and syrup. Yeah, sorry to the one person that voted for 21. <laughs> Your set is it's over. My bad. Um, GGs. Yeah, it, just, it sometimes would be like that. I just love watching the Wolf victory screen. You know. <laughs> He's so cool. Yeah, look at him. He's got the purple jacket on. <laughs> That's a cool guy. <laughs> He's a cool dude. Uh, still, I, to go on, go off of what you said, AG. Like, I think it's just it, it feels fitting for the last Zeno to feel like everybody across the entirety of New York and even in New Jersey to represent all of their different characters. Everyone that's ever been to a Zeno ever basically has yeah. come out tonight. I was seeing people I didn't even know were still around. You yeah. know. Just, yeah. From the history books, as you know, I saw Angel Cortez walk out of the building. I was like, yeah. "What year is it?" <laughs> it's like, "Yo, what's up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's that up on that?" Right. <laughs> but still, it's the it's the new blood sitting here in winners' quarterfinals in this top 24, taking the stock lead against Mystery this time. And a Steve with a stock lead is like so much more of a menace. Yeah, that's a totally different character than what it is when it's even stock or when you're heavily. Because sure. you have to approach this guy while he has like all his tools, building walls, and you got to find a way to get through everything. Oh my god. Yeah. What are hitboxes? Right. <laughs> while the character still finds, yeah. 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 <laughs> still finds some ways to surprise us. Uh, the other thing too is it kind of is a little antithetical for Mr. E, who gets so much mileage off of you know putting that pressure on the opponent who's trying to make something happen and responding with like good roll reads or defensive option reads. Uh, even some edge guards, but you don't really have that opportunity as often when you're trying to make something happen. But finally does find that stock after some extended pressure and it kind of depleted the resource bar too. Definitely on the back foot a little bit here. Yeah. The big problem is Mystery e has 121%. Right. So any good move can kill them like that. It's a good move, all right. Yeah, diamond back here, I would think, is uh, it's up there. It's up there, <laughs> like, for sure. You know, top 20 maybe. Yeah. <laughs> And I nice. think it classifies as like good out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> good is the most charitable way to phrase. <laughs> like, a little starter off of the anvil too has to place some iron blocks there because of that lack of resources we talked about. But still looking pretty comfortable here. 77 even is where I'm starting to worry. That's where we saw sparks in the last game with those diamond back airs. But big minecart 
open up the stage. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in up to no up smash percent to where it'll work and also certainly close out the stock on a stage like. Jesus. That was another oh, animation front facing back. Just air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That oh. should do it though. A lot of different options here, but wow, what a recovery route from Mr. E! That was yeah. crazy. I was expecting the blocks too, but Sir went for a little extra. May have cost just an extra stock, stock here. But 139. Can we do it? Yeah. Do you believe? Don't call it a comeback. I mean, I see Mr. E do it personally. It's not yeah. even like if anyone could do it, it's Mr. E type thing. Like, I see Mr. E in this exact matchup, player to player too. Look at all this pressure right now. But the problem is, yeah, one more straight hit like that, and that's it. Or that one right there. It's kind of like... Back here does it again, maybe. And it's just so easy to set up these really hard uh, moments of uh, of conditioning and just like instant analysis to set up those back airs. Because what are you going to do? Fall through the platform and deal with the block wall in the corner? Right. No, you're going to go over it when you're already in the air, already drifting in. Yeah. It's the equivalent of like skipping an answer on a test. Yeah. You're going to have to go back at some point. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you're still as clueless as the first time. So you might as well try and figure it out. But unfortunately, Mr. E could not yeah. figure it out in that exact moment. Actually, he got punished for skipping. So. I'm so well, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he should have figured it out. Just fill in one of the answers. Yeah. I don't know. Now, unfortunately, you can't use the test to take the test because Steve just will give you a different question. True. True. <laughs> you hand in the test, pop quiz. It's another diamond back here. <laughs> Okay, I like, I like Dolphin Slash. Good damage, good combo breaker right there, but does not really work in situations like this. Good yeah. vertical pressure. Yeah. But he's is doing great SDI and good air dodge right there. But because Syrup is not getting full combo, and he's doing SDIing up, and this way he can threaten the Dolphin Slash because he has done it in the past before. But no SDI can save you from that one. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say you get to that mid percent, and all, you're just kind of along for the ride. You are not in really a good spot to throw the dolphin slash out. I'm a fan of Mr. E as well, like being willing to engage not just with the blocks on uh, on the normal level, but also with the TNT. I feel like a lot of players will just avoid it because they don't really know how it's yeah. timer as well as the Steve player, so they're just trying to get away and give Steve a lot of time to mine. But Mr. E is not afraid to engage with Steve on basically any metric. We're seeing him go out for an edge guards, playing in combos as well with the SDI's mention, just always ready to try and make something happen. Okay, one other thing too I love is Mr. E really good at using Shield Breaker at the ledge to try and like poke the TNT, which we saw a lot, but unfortunately that was not exactly the block that he wanted to see at the ledge there. The stone block, a little too good for the forward air. Couldn't make it back to the ledge. Trying to fight back now though, keep it close. I wonder if a couple pummels there would have timed the stone block breaking if he got that throw to set up the back throw forward smash stuff. It wouldn't have closed out the stock, but it would have been just it added emphasis on Syrup's own awareness of his tools. That was some good juggling, though. Instantly getting off to a strong start, Mr. E just fully acknowledging that his win condition is snowballing rather than trying to play Syrup's game. Yeah. And to be honest, if Mr. E, Mr. E is looking pretty close to beating Syrup, and I believe this will be his first time doing it. I mean, like I was saying, how comfortable Mr. E looks in certain aspects, but it has been him falling just slightly short trying to put them all together for the whole set win. But right now, that platform drop combo, that nair off the block, Mr. E looks much more comfortable this time around. Yeah, time after time, like, Mr. E just always gets in the place where Syrup really doesn't want him to be. That turnaround block cancel is going to allow the back oh. to connect it. He misspaces his Dolphin Slash, not getting the sword to hit the stone or to ride the stage. Instead, just slamming head first. That was exactly what I was worried about when I saw that stone block, too. Yeah. Was no Dolphin Slash won't get through it. You had to pick one angle, got kind of caught in between, but answering back still relatively confident despite a small misstep. That was a weird tech roll. Animation, I've never right? seen that trip. Yeah, yeah. Play, that was new. Oh, Syrup was out of range of the forward air, but didn't pull the trigger on any sort of like punish or defensive option. Instead, we're just swinging these back airs, dominating center stage with minecarts. Three on the table as well as anvils. Another diamond to refresh. Just gets off in time. Yeah, and good spacing for Mr. E, just knowing that Syrup is looking. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's going to do it. Yeah, to your point, though, that you were saying, Reggie, the spacing Mr. E was displaying was perfect. 
because Syrup was beating everybody up with Footstool down here. Yeah. And Mystery was facing the airs nearly perfectly. But unfortunately, Syrup, well, unfortunately for Mr. E, not for Syrup, but Syrup did find all the right hits. Big aerial there to seal the deal. And me personally, I want to see what's going on over on setup 21. We got Burst going up against Seal Ice Climbers. Go press the button. Oh, it's, it's my, it's, it's up to me. I thought it was a team effort. 